Hi everyone, Flowery Squirrel here and welcome to my channel. So today in this video I would like to show you how to find this beautiful rainbow living ship. And uh, the first thing you need to know is that you need to have completed the initial living ship mission already. Um, you need to have a void egg and you also need at least 10,000 nanites. Now, currently I've already got a living ship mission or the Starbirth mission active in Euclid Galaxy. But the target ship that we want to find, this rainbow ship, is in Ik Jamatu Galaxy. And um, it, it needs to be like that so that when we get to Ik Jamatu we would be able to reset the Starbirth mission. So, as you will see in my log, I've got the mission active already. Right, so I am currently at an Ik Jamatu Galaxy portal. So all I need to do now is to charge up and then put in the glyph coordinates. So just make sure that you are actually in Ik Jamatu Galaxy before you do any of this. If you do this in Euclid, it won't send you to the to the correct system. Here we go. So the glyphs that we punched in will actually take us to the correct planet and um, you will need to then use the, the coordinates given um, to, to find the actual crash site. So the coordinates in this case, um, as above here, is minus 46.73 and minus 82. For, for me, I've actually got a communication station down there, or communication beacon, and I've got a safe beacon as well, just to make it easier for me to find it. And hopefully, if the communication uh, beacon loads in for you guys, you'll also be able to find it quickly. Otherwise, you'll have to take a while and just find the exact spot with the longitude and latitude coordinates. Let's go. There's my safe beacon and you can also see that there's a communication station. So it is pretty close to this rainbow living ship overlook base that someone put down there. Right. Once we get there, you'll see that there's only a crashed ship. Don't worry about that, that is normal because our living ship mission is still active in a different galaxy. Once you get out, it might be a good idea to do a manual save first. If I can find the save beacon. Right. So all we do now is go into our log and reset the Starburst mission. There we go. So it, takes, it might take a couple of seconds and then it pops up. Now you might also be unlucky and it just doesn't send you to or it sends you to a different place on this planet. If that happens, do an immediate reload of your autosave when you jumped out of your ship and just try and reset it again. Do that a several times and hopefully you'll get lucky. Otherwise, you know, chat with me on Discord and I will come grab this ship for you guys. Let's take a quick look. Look at that beauty. Isn't that just awesome? It's a 
single thruster, short arm, big foot feet, long nose living ship. I love the, the sleek design that this one has. It doesn't have the tusks and everything, but with the short arms and the big foot feet, it's got this nice line going through here. I just like the flow of this, this ship. It's just beautiful. But overall, this is what we would call a rainbow living ship. Let's go see what this one looks like in the anomaly. And there you have it guys, beautiful rainbow colored living ship and how to find it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.